We're going to use G-Power to estimate the minimum sample size needed to run a factorial MANOVA in this video. And a MANOVA is in the F-Test. And global effects, that's just a regular ANOVA, that's not us. We want a factorial, which means special effects and interactions. So a factorial means when you got more than one categorical variable. And we're looking for the interactions. That's your trigger word here. So our, our scenario would be just like the regular MANOVA that we just did. We want to see if there's a significant difference in five different DBs between the staff, managers, and executives. And our second DB here would be, uh, it could be, you know, which department? Uh, shipping department, R&D, human resources, marketing, that kind of stuff. That could be our second DB. So that's how we would do this. And this is the guy you pick. Boom. And it gives you the medium effect size, critical alpha 0.05. We change it to 0.8 because we can get away with it. Number of groups. So let's pretend our second variable is gender. We'll make it easy. So we have staff, men, staff, women. We have manager, men, manager, women. We have executive men, executive women. That makes a total of six groups. And I think that is a six already. And the number of predictors. And the number of predictors just means how many categorical variables there are. In this example, there's going to be two. And we pretend, we're pretending there are five repeated measures. Let's go ahead and calculate that. And this one says we need a total sample size of 135 people. Okay. So that's not bad. Hope this helps. MGZ out.